Well, they must know each other pretty well because uh, one is from Carmarthenshire and the other one is from... Well, he was born in Carmarthenshire, but he's actually from Cardiganshire, from Caridian itself. This man, Jamie Lewis, whom we saw earlier this Thank afternoon, dispose of the uh, Belgian, Kenny Nyans, with uh, an impressive performance. Both lads played well, but... Uh, it was uh, Lewis who pulled out the big shots when he most needed them and made his way through to meet Johnny Clayton. Well, the lads have been discussing his latest success, his first big final just a few short weeks ago in Minehead, not a million miles from where he actually resides now in Taunton, Somerset. And uh, so a real Welsh flavour and Rod Harrington just rushed down those stairs like a man half his age. And I'll let you get your breath back, Rod. But, uh, yeah, I was listening to your intro there. And uh, uh, on current form, Johnny Clayton, you mentioned his uh, path there without mentioning the players. You didn't have time, of course. De Graaf, Price, Bunting, Beaton, and the number one seed, Rob Cross. And although he lost in the final, that's an impressive lineup. Yes, he, he was really on a great run. And as we say that, Johnny, Johnny's just put in a 180. The form line's definitely with him. He must be bubbling over with confidence. And, uh, you know, good chance. But Jamie Lewis, a young man with, you know, as we see so many of them, a great talent. As he fires in the first. That's not for him. A great talent, but we, I don't think we've seen the potential of Jamie Lewis. Maybe. The fact that he was on this stage a couple of hours ago in a very, very good preliminary round match. Yeah, but it's round about 93. He's going for this one. Uh, one, two, six. Two, six in fact, two, that's a one, two, two, two six finish. Two, oh, two, brilliant two, stuff two, from Jamie Lewis. Well, it's the Welsh against the Welsh here. And rest assured, there'll be plenty of fire. Just like we've seen. Look at that. The dragon the against team. the dragon. And that was a terrific finish, Rod. I think Johnny Clayton knows he's in a game here. Well, I think he knew he was in the game before he walked on the stage because he knows the young man very well. 306 in six darts there from Jamie Lewis. And then he kicks off this leg with a 140. So eight perfect darts out of nine. 97. And as he clocked out that one, two, six, I was about to say, he's had that game earlier. He averaged uh, a, a decent 93.17 in beating uh, uh, Kenny Nyans, the Belgian. And he hit a one, four, seven checkout right when he needed it, when the other fellow was on a double and he would have won this first set had he uh, not taken out that one, four, seven, I think. And he's getting picked up from there. So maybe this is his year where he can fulfil that promise because I agree with you four or five years ago we were all saying he's the you know he's the bee's knees well we kind of expected him to uh, be where Michael Van Gerwen is now or close to it that yes. was the way you know his career was looking um, he still throws some brilliant darts he's got it into him but it, like a lot of players it is that consistency leg on leg so now it's Clayton's turn he could have gone bullseye 16. Now, going that route, if you don't hit a treble, you don't have a dart to have a check out. Now, Lewis, the way he's playing, you've got to fancy him to have a dart at the double. So I was surprising Johnny Clayton going that way. However, I do, you know, well, double 16. Yes, and he got that. I, I agree with you. More and more modern players choose to go a more traditional route rather than use the ball, which is actually the traditional way in numbers like 1991, 92. And, um, however, it's for each to determine his own route. And so 32, no problem. Jamie Lewis goes two legs to nil up, holding his throw there. Uh, Dave and you were talking there and, and, and the suggestion was by Crofty that uh, this could be a game that could go the full five sets. It finishes like that 1-2-6.
in tight legs that can be the difference in the end, isn't it? 100. Whoever hits them. Yes, you're exactly right. And, uh, yeah, I do think it's, it's going to go five sets, this. We talked about the form line and the way Johnny, you know, has played over the last couple of months, has been closing out games a lot better, so that's why everybody's edged towards him. But you know, if this young man, Jamie Lewis, can win this first set pretty quick. And these youngsters, it's all about confidence. They get in front of you and all of a sudden they can just run away with it. Look what happened with Dimitri, you know, um, Dimitri Vandenberg and then uh, Jermaine Watamina. They get the chances, yes. they, they take them. Well, John Part and I were of the opinion earlier, we commentated on his earlier 45. game, that having three sets on the stage, as he did earlier, would set him up nicely, perhaps, for this encounter now. Well, he's two legs to nil up in this opening set. He's got a little bit of work to do in this one, but, uh, well, he's ahead, he's ahead. He's got the throw, hasn't he, effectively? But he needs a treble here. 45. Yeah, well, he's got, to, he's got to finish this set off from this position. Must not let Clayton back in it. You see so 40. many players that, you know, they get 2 0 up, get in a good position, and then just, you know, protect it instead of keep attacking. He's going to get at least six darts from here, so. That's a beautiful dart. Just moves to the left. That'll open up the target. It gets the flight out the way more than the barrel. 99. Yes, 99. 115 left. And uh, Clayton, the one with work to do. But that helps. That helps. This is a tight leg. Advantage Lewis, though. 115. No. Rod, I don't know what your opinion is, but I've always said and for years and years that 115. Why not go for 19s first? 96 in two is easier than 95 in two. Oh, brilliant finish from Clayton. Brilliant 104. Yeah, there's two ways of looking at that, John. I mean, you practice on the treble 20 far more than you do on any other treble on the dartboard so if you've got a dart in your hand you want to find a treble obviously it's a treble 20 but I understand what you're saying about you know going at the same target down below but you know it's true and I, I those words are coming from the mouth of one of the finest treble 19 cover shot players I've ever seen and that's namely yourself and all these players are trained to hit that treble 19 and they do so many times but, when oh, they... absolutely I totally agree with you but I'm still of the opinion my first dart is always going to be at that treble 20. And as Lewis puts in his second maximum of this match. Yeah, three all together. One We had seven one eighties in that the preliminary round game, and he got his first in the very last leg, and he got his second in the very last leg. He hit two one eighties in the leg. That brought him to this point. And it looks as though he's going to take the first set. 42. Jimmy McGuire, 16. Double eight. Double four. Ah, nicely done, lad. Set. Nicely Jamie done. Lewis. So, first leg, first set to Jamie Lewis, the younger of the two. One suspects that Johnny Clayton will lift his game. He has to. We'll be back soon. Well, the movers and shakers of the Ali Pali. And... Uh, Wayne's selection might not concur with yours or mine or Rod's, but it matters not because the real contest is this one, of course. Jamie Lewis, the 26 year old from Cardigan, is uh, one set up. He has the throw here, and Rod Harrington, that was 101.68 that opening set for the winner, 84 for the loser of that set. Big difference. Huge difference. I mean, Johnny Clayton, you know. 
should have won another leg and missed the tarts at double top. But what Jamie Lewis has got to do now, he's got to keep going at the same pace as he did that first set. Because, you know, we talk about the word using, you know, protect. If you protect your, your score, you're not going to attack. And that's where you let your opponent in. So, Jamie, he's got to fire on all cylinders in this set as well. We see Alan Norris, you know, win the first set, good darts, and all of a sudden nearly give the second yeah. set away. Yeah, it's refocusing, picking up from where he left off because uh, in that first set, this lad, he hit two 180s and a 1-2-6 finish. In fact, his first 180 and 1-2-6 finish came in the opening leg, a 12 data. Brilliant. 16. Clayton, 43 years of age, originally from Tondi Berham in Carmarthenshire. Lovely little village or town, a really, small town, large village. Halfway between Clenetley and uh, Carmarthen. Now lives in Somerset. Plasterer by trade. 16, taking the class. One or two cracks to fill in here, I think, because uh, at the moment, this lad's got the better game by far. Tops run. Tops, Tops it is. Jamie Lewis. And Jamie Lewis, Lewis has done exactly five. what he needed to do. Come into this second set and put in a real strong leg. And as we go well, further and further in this game, it's going to be more pressure on Johnny Clayton to try and get himself back in the game. And that's where we may see, see a few more flaws. And if Jamie can keep this sort of percentage up, you know, this average over no, the 100, um, then he's going to be tough to beat. And it's going to be a big hill to climb for this man, Johnny Clayton. Two Welsh players, and uh, you've played against a lot of Welshmen in your time. Who are the best players, in your opinion, over the years? Because they've been few and far between of recent years, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, there's been some great players back when I started playing mid-80s. I mean, Alan Evans is probably one of the best treble 20 hitters I ever see. Leighton was a lovely gentleman and a great player, knew how to close games. And, of course, in the modern 16. era, you know, you've got Rich Burnett, Mark Webster, you know, they're world champions. Yeah. Um, always good fun. Alan Evans was a, was a great aggressive player. Him and Eric didn't get on. I see a few tussles with them, which was hilarious in the day. Lucky there weren't a DRA around in them days. Yes. I once uh, compared a challenge between the two in Stoke on Trent in the 80s and had to not abandon it, but postpone it in the mid show because it was kicking off a bit long time ago but yeah they were fierce rivals never been there myself but uh...